The day after the Hungarian referendum, there are mixed feelings, certainly on behalf of the government who organised it. They had an overwhelming majority backing their stance, which is very much against the EU quotas on the resettling of refugees. However, not enough people turned out for it to be legal under Hungarian law. So how are they feeling and why did they hold this referendum? Let's get the views of a political analyst here. This is Daniel Rohner. Uh, Daniel, let me put that question to you. What were the aims of the government precisely with this referendum? Well, the government had several aims. First of all, it uh, aimed to dominate the political agenda. The migrant issue is very good for them. Most of the voters agree with the government. As long as it dominates the political agenda, it's beneficial for the government. And also, they wanted to, streng, uh, to send a strong message to Brussels that the Hungarian peoples are behind them. Bearing in mind that Hungary voted in a referendum to join the EU and, like many other countries, receives many benefits, many financial benefits, how can they be so opposed to the EU on this issue? Surely it comes with the territory. Yeah, uh, yeah they oppose the suggestion of, um, of the EU, the quota. But it doesn't mean that they want to uh, leave the EU, just as Britain did. So uh, the overwhelming majority of the Hungarian electorate they uh, strongly uh, in favour of the EU membership of the country, and uh, uh, that's one reason why the government doesn't even consider the possibility of leaving the EU. The other is the subsidies. Uh, the Hungary, uh, Hungary needs the subsidies of the EU. Tell us a bit about the campaign the government has pursued before this referendum. The posters, the media campaign, the money they've sp spent. Uh, it does seem to have been slightly distasteful at times. Well, uh, if you look at the result, you can say that uh, the majority of the uh, Hungarian citizens ag agree because uh, a year ago, uh, when uh, they built a fence, uh, even the opposition voters uh, approved the government's action and um, it, it seemed that uh, basically everyone agrees with the government. And now only 40% voted the way uh, the government wanted them. So that's a disappointment after um, the issue ownership they had a year ago. And what sort of message will this send to the European Union and will it be heard in Brussels? Well, it's hard to say, but uh, certainly the very fact that uh, the referendum was invalid weakens the message. OK, Daniel Rona, thank you very much indeed for, you. for your views. So as Daniel was saying and as we've been saying, very much mixed feelings on the ground in Budapest where the government won the vote overwhelmingly but didn't get the legal mandate they required for it to become law in Hungary. Back to you.